There we go. What's going on, YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video out here in the beautiful river of Boise. It is freezing, literally. It is freezing out here. We are going to be out hunting trout today and a little bonus this time of year in Idaho. Of course, everybody knows we are known for our potatoes, but this time of year when they start to harvest the rest of their potato crop, what the farmers do, and a lot of people don't know this, is they actually flood the fields, much like they do for cranberries. They flood the fields, the potatoes rise to the top, and then they're able just to corral them, and that's how they harvest potatoes here in Idaho. So with all of that flooding that goes on in the fields, eventually some of the potatoes aren't gonna make it into the trucks, and some of them actually float down the canals and end up in the river, like the Boise River. So what I'm gonna be doing today is we're gonna be fishing, trying to get a trout to eat, but also we're gonna keep our eyes peeled for some floating potatoes. They'll just be rolling down the river. I've got my net with me that I use to catch the fish, and we're just gonna scoop up potatoes as they float down the river. I'm gonna stop talking about it. Let's get fishing and hunt for some potatoes. First spot here. Throwing this little jerk bait. Got him. All right. Boom. First fish of the day. Looks like a little old brownie. Come here. Oh, maybe. I've still got my backpack on. There we go. Nice. Well, that's not bad. Not very big. But first fish of the day. Got the monkey off my back. Probably only about 10 or 11 inches. Still some pretty colors on that. Little trout just smoked that jerk bait. Nice. Not a piggy, but a good way to start the day. Hmm, nothing else. Let's keep moving down river. That's just a big old hedge of blackberry bushes, actually. Fun to pick in late summer. See if anything's hanging out beneath them. It looks pretty shallow over there, though might not be the best best spot right now i've had success in the past pulling a lot of my fish out of little deeper pockets this time of year but it's worth worth working the bait over a little bit i don't know guys i haven't been able to get anything to commit in this shallower water let's move down river there's some deeper stuff down here let's go fish that move down river a bit got a nice nice little cut along the river that's where the riverbank's going to be cut out it's going to be a little bit deeper along that side we're going to go ahead and punch this jerk bait in over there if i don't fall in first Oh, that's a fish. Oh, we have a fish, guys. Oh, we've got a big fish. Oh, 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 it just came out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my heavens. Oh, my gosh. Oh, guys, I thought I was snagged. It was that big. And I am working against the current, so that makes it feel a little bigger. But I, I thought I was snagged. I just, I, I bent back. My rod didn't even move, and all of a sudden, it just started to boom, boom. And you guys saw it jump, and ugh. Oh, that's why you fish these deep pools because there's an opportunity for fish like that. The only thing I can do is just get back out there, but that's like a kick to the groin. Ah. <laughs> there was nothing I could do. He didn't break the line. He just threw the hook. It, it, it wasn't like, you know, oh, I didn't have my drag set low enough or anything. He just, he just simply threw the hook. There's nothing else I can do about that, but that was a nice fish. I mean, that was easily, I, I would guess probably in the three plus pound range. I feel like such a noob. <laughs> okay. All I can do is just keep fishing. I gotta just keep fishing. Hopefully there's something else down there. He tastes the hook, so I doubt he's gonna be back. But... Oh. Oh. We're gonna go ahead and take a little walk down river. I know another location that's got some deep pools and some trees in the water and stuff like that. Similar to where I just missed that big fish. So take a little hike down the river. See if our luck can change at this other spot here. I need it too. I haven't had a fish in about an hour. Oh wait, check this out. Oh look, 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 look. Here we go. Here's a potato. 
Look at that. I almost missed him. Look at that. They blend so much in with the rocks. There's a nice little russet right there. He must have just floated down. Got caught right in this little eddy right here. There's our first potato. Yay. That's good. That means they're out and they're escaping the fields. So at least we'll have some fries today. That's a good start. There's one. There we go. There we go. All right. Nice. Nice little brownie. Oh, I need this fish right here, guys. Come on. Oh, barely hooked. Yes. There we go. Oh, just came out, too. Just came out. Oh, yeah. Whew. Oh, I needed that, guys. Take my gloves off here. Not a bad looking fish at all. Nice. Probably 12 inches. Good colors on that fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you know, it's not the piggy that we had on, but it's a good start. Help me get over that slump here. It's been a good probably hour, hour plus since I've caught a fish. So that felt great. Got a little confidence back here. I was actually thinking about switching over to spinner and I still might because I just, I feel like I haven't gotten the amount of hits that I should in a location like this. I feel like I'm, pr I'm pretty confident there are a lot of fish in here and um, I feel like I should be getting more fish to be honest. Um, so we'll see. We're gonna pitch this a little bit more, a little bit further down this bank, and then we might uh, we might go ahead and switch over to the old spinner. Oh, as you get a load of this, I'll bet this caused quite the brouhaha when it fell. I love that word. I just wanted to use it to be honest. Brouhaha. That needs to be used more. Man, this day has been tough. Oh my gosh, there was one. Just missed a fish. Literally just missed a fish right there. Caught me napping. I was looking downstream going, that Larry looks good over there. Just smashed me, literally. Couldn't have been more than six, seven feet away. It's about how the day's been going though, right? That was a good cast. Good cast, but no fish. Oh, check it out. Hey, 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 Ah, I'm gonna net him. Another potato. Yeah. Just scoot it up right on shore. Look at that. That's a good looking one right there. That's pretty. Nice and cold, been in that cold water. So they stay fresh. That's number potato number two right there. This spot looks pretty good. We'll see if we've got it. Got one. Yep, I got one. I got one. Here we go. Oh, it looks like a pretty decent one. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a big old, it's a big old rainbow. It's a big old rainbow. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, come here, baby. Oh, this is a fat one. This is a fat. Look at that. Yes. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Just like right by the bank. Oh, oh she's still feisty. Check that rainbow out right there. That is a beautiful looking trout. I was almost ready to give up on the day. I haven't caught anything for like an hour and a half. I had like one bite. We missed that big fish early on and it was just... It's been a really, really tough day of fishing, but she loaded onto that golden jerk bait. She wanted it. Oh, one fish can change your day right there. We're gonna have something to eat now. That is awesome. Good fish. I'm gonna get her weighed up, make sure it's on pounds. All right, right in the bottom of the jaw. Let's see, 1.61, a little over a pound and a half. Whew. That sure is a beautiful, beautiful looking rainbow trout right there. Oh man, what a fatty. Look how, just look at this, how thick that is. That is crazy. Not very long, but super thick. That is sweet. That is sweet. Good catch. Oh, I needed that. There are definitely plenty of these guys in this river. So I like to let those browns go. A little bit more rare, even though there are still thousands of those as well in this river, but we've got us a nice looking fish to eat today. Oh, so happy for that last fish. That, I needed that. That is a morale booster. We're back in on the action. Ooh, don't know if that was a fish or not. Got him. Another fish. Another big brown, another big rainbow. Oh my goodness. What? Look at this. Look at this. Yes. All right. Oh, just came out. Look at that. Boom. 
Hook just came out. What? Two bows right in the same area. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Not quite as big as, look at that. Look at, he's got a treble hook in him. No, wait, wait, wait. Is that my treble hook? Did my treble hook come out? Wait, my treble hook came out. How'd you do that? I thought I caught a rainbow that had a treble hook in its mouth. But no, somehow the treble hook on my jerk bait seems to have popped off. Don't know how that happened. It's totally like bent. That's weird. That's no good. I must have a defective jerk bait here. Anywho, check that out. No record setter, but probably a good 14 inches. Beautiful deep colors on that rainbow. We've already got one though on the stringer, so we're gonna be able to let this one go. Let her get back in the water. All right, guys, haven't been able to get any more fish. I'm starving though. So we're gonna go ahead and cook up the two potatoes I found and the one rainbow trout. What I'm gonna do with the potatoes is I'm just gonna actually cut them up into like fry shapes. And we're just gonna fry them into fries. So we're gonna have some fresh Idaho potato French fries. And then the trout, I think I'm just gonna do like some uh, garlic and herb seasoning, some lemon and some butter, just pretty simple. Don't need to get too crazy with the trout. Um, so let's just get cooking, cause I'm starving. I haven't eaten since breakfast and it's like two o'clock now. All right, to start, we're gonna take our two fresh Idaho potatoes. We're just gonna cut them into sections, long ways. I was kind of bummed because I only found two potatoes, but actually, as I cut these down into fries, we'll actually have a decent amount of fries for one person to eat. There we go. Look at that. Got a nice little pile going on there. There we go. Nice little pile of french fries. Next we're going to get our oil heated up. Again, anything that you see here as far as my cooking setup, I'll have links in the description below. So we'll just be using some uh, vegetable oil today for these fries. Pour a little in there. There we go. I've even had people ask me, where'd you get your hat, bro? And I've got a link in the description to my hat as well. I didn't realize that would be a big hit, but I've had several people ask about that. All right, our oil should be heated up enough. Now we're just gonna take our fries, drop them right in. Ooh, that's hot. All right, that's good looking right there. Do about half a batch right now, about one potato. Got my sweet little tongs right here, used to move them around. I'm just gonna let those bad boys fry up. Well, some fresh potatoes right here on the riverbank. Oh, check that out. Those are looking nice and golden. I think, let me feel them. Those feel like they're ready to come off. Let's go ahead and pull them out. Got a nice little plate, paper towels on them to drain oil. Nice plate of fresh Idaho potato fries. We're gonna go ahead though, and throw the rest of them in here. Whoosh -ha! Now let's go ahead and get some salt and pepper on these bad boys. That's all I'm gonna do today. Pretty simple. Salt them up. I like some pepper too. Bam, just like that. Fresh out of the river. Look at that nice salt and pepper on that bad boy. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Who would have thought that you could get fries right out of the river? 
In Idaho, you can. I could use some ketchup. I need to bring ketchup packets next time. Nice and crispy on the outside. Mmm. Soft on the inside. You gotta wait until they start harvesting. And then once they start harvesting, you gotta give it eh, a week or two. But they do. These potatoes, they make it into the ditches, then through the canals. Those canals eventually end up into the river. Depending on the amount of crops that they've planted, there'll be a lot of potatoes in the river. Like, I'll go down and get like literally bags full. We'll have potatoes for months at our house. We don't have to buy them. It's awesome. I've got my last set of fries cooking up. Let me show you how I'm gonna prepare this fish. If you don't wanna watch me clean it, there'll be a little link that pops up right here that shows you what to skip to. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna clean this fish and get them cooking up today. So to clean this trout, it's gonna be pretty simple. He's already dead first off, so just to let you guys know. What I'm gonna do is just start down at the, at the rear and we're just gonna cut up big thick trout, holy mackerel. Then what we just do is I'm gonna just take all the guts out just like that, pretty easy. Now this trout is so big, I actually think I'm gonna have to cut the head off. I don't normally do that, I just usually eat the whole thing. Really rinse it out there, there we go. Check that out, nice looking meat right there as well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score it on both sides. That way my butter and my seasonings and all that flavor can hopefully kind of make it into the trout meat instead of just hanging on the outside. Rinse it off. One more time, there you go, check that out. Scored on both sides. Pretty easy, pretty simple way to clean the trout. And now it's ready for our frying pan. Let's take a look, this is our other potato. Yeah, these look like they're about done as well. All right, this is like, I don't know, what would you call this? The appetizer before the main meal? A little appetizer of fries before the fish? I can dig that. I can dig that all day, man. All right, now we've got our pan cleared for our fish and we will start out with butter, as we always do. If you've watched this channel enough, kinda know the drill. It's butter and lots of it. Now a pretty simple recipe today with the trout. I've just got my roasted garlic and herb, maybe. Come on, camera, focus in. Focus! All right, let me help it out here. Focus on, here's the fire. Team Weber roasted garlic and herb seasoning. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna just put a little of that like so. Then we're gonna just take that fish. Oh my, I kind of underestimated the size here. Anyway, we'll cook them up. Just have to move them around in the pan a little bit. Move them around in that butter a little bit. Boom shakalaka, just like show. Sprinkle dinkle this side as well. Then we're gonna hit that fish with some salt because the seasoning is good, but the salt's gonna bring out the flavoring. Gonna just give it kind of a, a better punch. You're gonna be able to taste that trout better. Check that out right there. That is looking good. That's what we're after right there. Now, we're gonna turn them a couple of times, let them cook in that butter and all that garlic and herb seasoning. And we're gonna have some fresh river trout as well. All right, I think it's go ahead and time to flip this bad boy. I'm gonna grab him by the tail. Flip them all the way over. Oh, look at that. It's like that, that uh, garlic and herb seasoning. It's almost like making a crust on that fish. It smells delicious. I gotta say, it smells really good. Looking delicious. I got a little bit of lemon here to top everything off. We're gonna squeeze some lemon juice right on our fish just like that. Yum. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and sample the top part of this fish. I'm pretty sure it's done cooking. Oh yeah, that looks good. Look at that right there. Nice, hot, fresh, juicy piece of wild trout. Oh yeah. That roasted garlic and herb seasoning is the bomb. This fish was alive like 20 minutes ago. Check that out. Nice, good looking piece of meat right there. Nice, big old piece of meat. When the trout are this size, you don't have to fillet them. 
because if you cook them right, you can just peel that meat right off the bone and it's basically boneless. I tell you what, not a bad consolation prize for having missed that really big brown chow. Oh man, that was delicious. Great recipe. If you think that's crazy that we could pull potatoes out of our river, you should check out the last video I did. Maybe you have already, but we can also hunt wild pickles here in Idaho. So go check that out. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to check out that video. I've still got some daylight left though, so we're going to start making our way back, but do some fishing on the way back and see if maybe we can come up with another fish before the day's over. So some of you may have remembered when I stumbled upon that old like what I thought was an abandoned lean-to on the river. Well, surprise, it is not abandoned. Looks like they're back. There are all the uh, pieces of wood that were leaned up. Got a tarp, drink, all kinds of good stuff. Some bread right there. Old sandwich, it looks like. I thought this was abandoned, but apparently they were just getting started. Oh, a campfire, oh, somebody said pizza. They've got all kinds of food items. Look at that. Got an old cart on wheels to carry everything around, I guess. Tarp for a tent. Oh, you know, the rubber chair really is what gives it that homey feel. The only problem with this is that here in about a month when this river floods, all of this is gonna get washed away. All this is gonna end up right in the river. So um, hopefully whoever lives here figures that out or else it's gonna be a rude awakening one day or one night when you're sleeping and all of a sudden the water comes roaring down here and uh, you and all your belongings get swept down river. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because I don't know if this is considered trespassing, breaking and entering in someone's home, but thanks. Oh, got him. Got one. Yes! Another one. What is this? Uh, I can't tell you. I think it's a brownie. Yes. Yeah, it is a brownie. Look at that. Booyah. One more to end the day all on jerk baits. Not too shabby, neighbor. I was hoping for one more on the day. We got one more. Awesome. Oh, another one. Whoa! Woohoo! Oh, she's a tail walker. Okay, I lied when I said that last fish was my last one. I saw a pretty nice stretch of bank and had to go for it. This is probably, if I can net her, might be the biggest brown of the day, which isn't saying much considering we lost a really big one earlier. But hey, that's not bad. That is brownie number four. Not too shabby. I'm still hooked up in my net. Get her back in the water. Nice! Bonus fish. Catching them while the sun is going down. YouTube fam, we were able to salvage the day. Not too bad. Six fish. I've had worse days of fishing. And a delicious recipe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.